what's up it's crystal welcome back to my channel welcome to vlogmas or as i like to call it christmas get it so today's video is gonna be super simple quick and easy because the video i wanted to do i can't actually do till tomorrow because the post guy or whoever dropped DH dhl whoever drops off the she and stuff got here so late that i ran out of light and so filming the try on portion for that haul would just like the lighting would all be off so we're gonna have to do that tomorrow so you have that to look forward to so today i'm just gonna wing it because i don't want to miss the very first day that's like missing the first day of school we're gonna use the lisa frank palette once again and i'm just gonna show you a quick fun and fresh holiday eye look super simple beginner friendly um not too crazy so all my mature ladies in their 30s 40s 50s 60s whoever out there um can rock this look if you want so before we get started if you haven't already hit the subscribe button i'm trying to get to 500 before the end of the year and it would mean a whole lot to me if you join my youtube family Second, we're still doing the giveaway for the Raw Beauty Christie at first sight, or at, I always say that, at first sight palette. I am going to um, uh, do the little contest picker thing and pick the winner on Saturday or Sunday, so this weekend. So you still have time to enter. That giveaway is on my November Allure box video. You just have to be subscribed, like, comment on the video, and let me know that you'd like to be entered. So just wanted to remind you guys about that. And I know a lot of you have requested um, like a shoe haul from Shein, so I have that on the way. Um, I ordered I think five or six different styles and like types of shoes to try on, so we can test out like sizing, quality, things like that. Um, and then I'm the one I'm most excited about. I have a whole bunch of different kinds and styles of Shein bags, purses coming, so I'm gonna do a haul on those. Um, not to mention just like a ton of clothes. They just released like the Shein Basics line. Um, just, you know, like plain like st wardrobe staples. Um, so I did pretty much order like one of everything So I can show you that line because I was super excited about it because I've been saying that for a minute Like oh, I wish this was just plain or I wish this came without like that weird patch on it or whatever um, So yeah, we have lots and lots of stuff to look forward to for the month of December So yeah, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out Anyways, back to today's video. We are going to be doing this simple eyeshadow look. Um, I am using, like I said, the Lisa Frank um, Morphe 35B palette. You can use any sort of palette with neutrals um, that has like a little bit of color. So I'm going to do basically just a regular like a neutral colored eye, but we're going to add a little pop of color on the lower lash line. It's not going to make it too wild or crazy, but it will like tie in whatever, like if you're wearing a red sweater, you can do a little pop of red, if you're wearing green and so on. Um, and it just like adds just a little bit extra without being like too extra, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to quit rambling. Well, no, I probably won't. <laughs> Let's, let's get started. Um, this brush, I was going to use this brush, but I feel like it's a little too flimsy. So we're going to, we're going to use this one. So I wanted something that was kind of dense, um, just to lay down that first layer. I have a cat on my foot biting me. Hi. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go in. I didn't prep my eyelid, which I probably should if I'm going to do any sort of lasting, but it's nighttime and I'm probably just going to wipe this off. So I'm going in with this, uh, light kind of beigey color here if I need to go darker I will but I never I haven't used this color before and I don't know how it's going to show up on the eyelid okay so it's going to show up the same color as my skin you can obviously see that it's there but it didn't add anything I'm going to go ahead and just do that to the other side to keep them even and then we're going to reach for something darker okay so as I'm looking here <laughs> There isn't really a darker brown, so I'm going to just grab something I feel like everybody might have or something <laughs> close to it. I just grabbed the News of New York. I'm just looking for a matte kind of light brown that'll give us a little bit of color. I'm going to use the color right here, Creator. It doesn't have to be this palette. You can use any sort of kind of a light brown that's similar. And then we're gonna start at the outer corner and just then bring it over. But I wanna concentrate the darkness at the outer corner. Um, 
and that's just to make my eyes appear bigger than they are. I'm a big fan of that. Like I said, I don't, well, I don't know if I said it in this video, but I don't like to like digitally enhance my photo. So if I can enhance it with makeup, like I'm all about that. And I think making your eyes bigger is like a goal for just about everybody, right? Like, hmm. So I've got that and then I'm dragging it this way. And I'm bringing it just out, kitties. Just above, like, right here, because my eyes are slightly hooded, and otherwise it won't show. You guys are awful. I had to, this is like my third take because of my cats. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them. They're like literally biting my feet. Anytime I try to do something, they get mad and they want to be the center of attention. Okay, and then like I said, just slightly above there so you can still see it when my eyes are open. I feel like this eye is darker than this eye, of course, it always is. Cause again, the side that I do right-handed is always better. <laughs> okay, close a freaking enough. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna go in and put that away because all I needed was the brown. I'm just gonna take like this kind of flat looking shader brush here and I'm now gonna go into this white color. I'm gonna just put it on the inside here. Just to try to open that, uh, which side did I put the shadow on? Hopefully it's this side, yep. And I'm just gonna stay almost like I was doing a cut crease that way I can, I'm gonna stop there, but then I'm gonna take the brush with the brown shadow on it and just kind of lightly blend that together, if that makes sense. And we're gonna do the same thing to the side. And then we're gonna stop about halfway over there. Why does it always look brighter on that side? What if, it's so weird. Maybe it's my lighting, I don't know. Okay, so there I'd say they're pretty freaking close. Now we're gonna just take that original first brush and we're gonna just kinda like, I don't know, kinda just blend it together so there's not such a harsh line. Just like that, okay. See, we're doing good so far. <laughs> Now, instead of going in with like the brown and like smoking it out under the lash line, we're just gonna take, I wanna use this brush, but it's such a cheap crappy brush and it's, I don't know if you can see it, but like when the machine cut it off, it left this little end over here. Let me see if I have another brush similar. I do, but it's dirty. So we're gonna just wing it. We're gonna use this. This is just an AOA E115. Now I'm gonna, I have red on my shirt, so I'm gonna go in with, I'm thinking this red right here. So I'm gonna just put a little bit on my brush, tips of my brush, tap it off, and then I'm gonna go just under, right along my lash line, like I would like some eyeliner, right? Just the outer, half as close as I can to my lash line just like that then we're gonna do the side and since one side turned out good the other side probably won't <laughs> and we're just gonna do the same thing just the outer half right along that lash line uh. The reason you want to get so close is because I don't want to bring it up and like bring it all the way out. I just want to do it on the lower line. Okay, so I know it probably looks crazy, but once you get your mascara on, I promise you it doesn't look nearly as crazy. So the last step before we put on our mascara or our fake lashes or whatever you would like to do, 
Um, oh, I just bought this today. I think it's like it's the coolest thing. I just got it on Shein. I think I can get it wet. I don't know. Maybe the sponge will get bigger. I thought it was going to be bigger, but look how tiny it is. It's so small. I got it because I thought it would save time like doing my foundation. Not the stick one, obviously, but like liquid foundation, but it's so little. Now we're just going to put a tiny little bit of like some of this gold sparkle right here because I think it would be pretty. And we're just going to use our finger. So I'm going to just swirl here and I'm going to put that right where um, I kind of blended those two colors together, the white and the brown. We're just going to kind of tap that in the center and kind of mix it around, uniting the light and the dark. Just gives it a little something, something. We're going to do the same to this side. <laughs> Maybe I should start like practicing this <laughs> before I actually like hit film. Okay, so I am going to throw on my mascara super quickly and so I can show you that it doesn't look completely crazy. Ooh, did you see how that was so close? Almost completely destroyed that. I could literally put on mascara for 10 years straight. Okay, for the lower lashes, we're just gonna use roller lash for the pure and simple fact that it's just a tiny little wand and it's really easy to get in there. And get your lower lashes, which is exceptionally critical, especially if you are using shadow as a liner on the bottom. Um, getting the mascara on those lower lashes is what's gonna make it not look so crazy. I think day three is just going to be a compilation video of all the stupid faces I make when I put on mascara. I'm just kidding. That'd be funny. I think everyone does it though. It's these damn cheeks, they just get in the way if I don't make those weird faces. Okay, I'm going to not mess with it anymore because if I do, I'm going to get it all over my freaking face. Which I already kind of did right here. Oh, Q-tips. Thank you. I read or heard someone say you're supposed to wait till it dries, but like, I don't have the patience for that. Okay, so just know like this is sort of what it looks like. Ah! I actually like the way that the eyes turned out. Now you can play up other things if you want to use like a little more of a darker blush, you can emphasize that. I never do because I tend to get super, super warm and turn red anyway. Um, but we're gonna find a super fun and fresh reddish. What do I have for lip? Ooh, y'all, I forgot. I have my only Pat McGrath lipstick that I got on clearance because I'm not bougie. Ooh, I have lip liner, but I don't, I don't wanna take the time, so we're just gonna fling it. So this is Flesh 3. It is nice nonetheless. So this is the finished look. I thank you for bearing with me and letting me post another beauty video. I hope it wasn't too bad. I had a good time. I just love playing with makeup. So until tomorrow, I will see you then. Have a good day, night, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.